getting knocked out by the Netherlands. Supporters of Team USA, still proud of the team, but a little bummed out. And now soccer fans around the globe are watching World Cup action. And players locally are especially glued to the matches. That includes Greenville Triumph head coach John Harks, who played in the 1990 and 1994 FIFA World Cup, joining us now. Welcome. Thank you so much, Margaret. Great to be on with you guys. Good to have you. There have been dramatic goals, upsets. What are some of the biggest surprises so far? Well, I mean, certainly in the first round, we got to talk about the USA beating Iran. Uh, it was a massive win for them and pushed them on to the next round in, uh, against the Netherlands. Unfortunately, we fell short there. But having said that, we're very proud of our U.S. team. And it was good to be back on the world stage. But now you're seeing Morocco, a team that comes in and just surprises Spain, takes them to penalty kicks in the shootout. And Hakimi, you know, takes the fifth penalty shot and uh, – there's a guy that was born and raised in Madrid, and he's playing against uh, Spain, and he wins it for them. Tens of millions of people watching there. You just got to always stay in control with your nerves and emotionally be ready to play, and he did. He, he Such a great, great win for Morocco. Yeah, absolutely uh, an underdog story there. And as a professional player in two FIFA World Cups, you know what it's like to play in these matches. Talk about what it's like to compete on that world stage. Well, it's, first of all, it's a dream come true. Uh, it's a great opportunity, and you know that you're grateful when you put the jersey on and you got U.S. soccer right above your heart, and it, it feels, you know, it's a moment of pride. But at the same time, there is a lot of intensity. There's a lot of stress and pressure, and, uh, you know, you use your family and support, uh, especially the fan base, you know, to help push you through. But there are a lot of us out there as former athletes that just the more noise, the better. Yeah. The, the larger the crowd, the better. The bigger – the platform, the better, you know, and that's what drives us on to perform well. So it's been exciting to see this World Cup. Very sure. And then uh, you've got a few Triumph players who represented their national teams in 2022. You all organize World Cup watch parties. Are you guys yeah. watching every match they can? Yeah, I mean, we've got players from Jamaica and all different dynamic backgrounds, and uh, we've got representation on this club, um, young and old. And, uh, you know, it's great to see us out in the community. We've been with so many great sponsors and partners that we love in the Greenville, you know, not mm -hmm. just Greenville, but the upstate. And uh, we've got a lot of, you know, clinics, free clinics that we do with the YMCA, but we have a lot of watch parties. And this Saturday we have a watch party as well. And I know our front office has been working overtime putting these on and hosting them, but they've been well populated, good fan base, and it's very loud. So we're looking forward to this Saturday. What's it do for the sport locally just to see all this excitement? Again, it's just about bringing people together, Margaret, and uh, the community really thrives on mm -hmm. having a pro, a pro club with, owned by Joe Irwin and his family. Uh, that is a club for the community. So when you connect that and you, you do it through sport and the emotion and the passion is there, it just brings everyone together. So we're really happy to be a, a club for the upstate. Before we go, anything you want to let us know about what's happening with Greenville Triumph in the off season, what you guys are doing now? Yeah, a lot of, well, negotiation time, Margaret. Mm. You know, we're, we're rebuilding this roster, and it's a, it's a tricky time. And a lot of respect for the players that have been with us and how much we've grown as a club. But now moving forward, getting contracts signed, getting players uh, in the market again, and looking forward to preseason in February. With probably a midseason March start this year, it's going to be a lot earlier this year. But we're looking to compete again, as we always do, and we want to get to that final and win the championship. All right, we'd love to see it. Coach John Hark, thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the rest of those World Cup matches. My pleasure. Enjoy the games. Take care. Well, the Greenville Triumphs watch party is happening this Saturday at Habitat on Miller Road. The quarterfinal match between England and France begins at 2 o'clock.